this cat does not know space, person or space. I literally have nothing meaty. Cause you call me by my name The love you give me I just can't deny my errand here is done whatever i've been requesting they've granted my request my heart has really like i feel like a breath of fresh air because it was stressing me out so one of the things that was just bringing me down this week um i've been i've been here since like a week later last time they kind of wasted my time by today i haven't got any response because they've been saying the email the email the email response i've not been getting the response so they've told me that like we're going to email responses what we are saying and i'm like wow thank you so much so now I'm just going to go and have a coffee or a, or a hot chocolate or something. Just gonna sit down and talk to you guys. Yeah. Yeah, I know it's been a little while, but I gotta let them know. Yeah. Gotta let them know. If you ever been down, opportunity to grow. Yeah. Opportunity to grow. I know you having trouble understanding it. If you trust in God, he got his hands in it. I promise to protect you like a slam in it. Hi guys, um, <clears throat> I finally got my food. I don't know how I feel about this drink. This is uh, ginger and apple. Um, I feel like the ginger is too strong. I don't know why it feels like orange and ginger instead of ginger and apple. But anyway, um, <laughs> let's 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 talk about let's talk about graduating, guys. So, <laughs> I saw a video on Faye Bates channel. I don't have many people watch Faye Bates, but I saw a video on her channel, and she was talking about um, she was talking about how she felt after graduating and i could relate to most of it i was really planning to do a video sit down video about this but why not just push uh like push it in a vlog but yeah she was talking about graduating and oh by the way i got red velvet i actually love red velvet so i got red velvet yeah um actually I could relate to half of what she was saying. She was talking about how she was crying. And for her, it's like she graduated from medical school and then didn't like pass a long time and she managed to get a job and working as a doctor. But I could I could still relate to like most of the things she was saying. And I feel like these are conversations we are not told. Like things you were I know I'm doing a lot of things you weren't told of late because yeah, I know I graduated like June, but this is like months later. I'm now we can talk about things, right? 
um i think i've just been busy with other things so i have a few things that i have some 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 notes that i wrote i remember the months leading up to like my my like me finally graduating like there was just so much guys it's 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 a lot <laughs> these are things they don't tell you but it's a lot because it's like you are just figuring out like okay what 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 am i doing next um for other people in their professions it's literally like what am i doing next okay now i've graduated what next applying for a job then what like others they have the opportunity of being living with their parents while all that is happening so they don't really need to stress that much and the others who are like literally out there the world they literally have no one and they just have to figure out what's next and then there are others who are just want to be independent and then there's us the group of people who finish medical school and you finish at the age where most of your friends are like working have kids married and then it's you now like getting into the world and figuring like okay what's next so i feel like moments leading up to your graduation and then when you finally graduate like these are things that will pop up a lot and i dealt with it i think as i going through the what next moments last year like it's like the first few years of medical school you're enjoying it and you want to finish and you're looking forward to like being done with this thing and then finally when you're done you're just like like what next and um that's the reality of finishing medical school i feel because you're finishing at the age where most people already established and figured out what they want to do with their lives and then there's you people are expecting you to have figured out probably paying fees for you for a long time and they're like okay now it's your turn to like you know give back to us and you're just out there and if you're currently like in zambia where like it's not every day that you're able to like get employed as a doctor yes there are job opportunities but it's like not every day like there's a window for that and it might happen that you need to go volunteer that means you're working for free so now you have to figure out because you're not taking care of yourself for free so there's all that jazz about graduating and i feel like it's a transition period honestly it's a period because i feel like you hit a high where you've graduated you're happy like guys you walk across the stage you get your degree you're like i finally i'm done with this struggle i was tired of studying and then you hit the law of okay now what do i do next and it's a transition period that it requires a lot of energy honestly to get through it's something you can't do alone you constantly need your family and friends around it might be easy on others it might be quite hard on others and i feel like it's conversations we don't have like nobody talks about the period after you graduate like for those who don't have jobs waiting for them for those even though maybe you have a job waiting it's like a transition you'll be seated in class and doing mostly class and then from there no you are put into a position where it's a different stage in your life like every stage of life requires some kind of preparation and i feel like it's not everyone who gets to do that with graduating yeah um it's just <laughs> uh, in Faye Bates video she was talking about how she felt so lost and I could relate I could relate to feeling lost I think for me it's been 4-5 months but I think it's 4 months yeah I think it's 4 months since I graduated but it's just that constant feeling of being lost I think I've even had several days where I literally ask myself I'm like did I study the right thing like um, did I, was medicine the right thing for me and then you've also got imposter syndrome with medicine there's a whole license issue if i'm to be recognized as, as a doctor in my country i need to have a license first and the whole getting a license is another topic which i don't even want to talk about in this video but yeah i just want you to know that if you're going through such a moment you you're not alone like these are feelings you have to navigate these are thoughts you have to navigate and having your friends around making sure like your relationship with god is in check because that's one thing that will also like really bring you out knowing that god has a direction for your life like never feel like your life is going nowhere or or your life has got no there's my favorite scripture i'll just share it with you guys Jeremiah 29 verse 11 i think it's very important to constantly remind yourself like that god still has a direction even though you might feel like you don't have one and you figure it out like take it a day by day step um say was talking about having a routine like make a routine for your days like just don't go through your days but have a routine i think that's also important like yeah and figure out and even as you're almost done if you are still in university and you get to reach the graduation point like figure out what you're gonna do like don't just stay in university and play and enjoy the pocket money and all that not like start your business do something like figure out something that you you will easily glide into after you're done but otherwise if you are dealing with all these feelings i've talked about you're not alone <laughs> you're not alone and i watch for best channel and she talked about how she cried and whatnot and i'm like wow this is something everybody goes to because it's just a transition period but 
God will bring you through it. You will get through it. Um, God has a perfect plan for your life. Sometimes it, it it needs you to trust. Like you need to trust God with the intricate details of your lives. And this is one of the points. And just prepare yourself as much as possible and surround yourself with love. But otherwise, I'm gonna continue enjoying my red velvet cake and my ginger juice. But I'll see you guys. <laughs> I think for the rest of the day, I need to like get some supplies. I'm supposed to be releasing a new product for my business, so I'm supposed. I want to go and try out the recipe today. It's a sheer butter product. I want to go do that, and um, I have someone who's supposed to deliver some stuff to me. So yeah, I'm just gonna relax. I feel like I needed this. I just need to come. I just need to come out, have a solo date, and that's what I'm doing. Just think about my life, graduating, guys. <laughs> yeah, that's not the only thing on my mind, but yeah, I just need to come out and have some. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. But yeah. This cat does not know space, space on a space. I literally have nothing meaty. What's your name? It has beautiful eyes. Someone will shout at me for playing with a random cat. But it's so cute. Hey guys, I'm done with my date. Like one of my favorite juices, I'm not advertising, but it's I'm now almost home. I got on a car that the fuel finished halfway, so I had to walk home <laughs> when the fuel finished. But yeah, now I'm trying to order oil so that I can make the product I'm supposed to be making because I've been procrastinating on that. And then I'll try to show you guys as I order them and when they come in. And yeah, so I want to end the vlog here. Let's keep going. Hi, guys, this is the next day. <laughs> This is me who's been debating whether to end the vlog where I ended to continue carrying you guys along. But yeah, um, I was saying that I was gonna make a product yesterday, but um, the supplies ended up not coming in. I came in today, so that's what I'm gonna do now. And then I think I'll prepare some stuff. I'm actually in the mood of cooking. My appetite has been really bad this week, but I think it's now back for force. So I'll take you guys along with that as well. But yeah let's do this i just went by the shop to buy one or two things because yeah <laughs> and then going home and trying to make this product try out and see how it will come out i never made a hair product in my life i think that's why let's document this hi guys this is me starting to mix my product so <laughs> I bought this, this product, I bought um, some oils to add and they all came because it's super hot, like they all came melted. I had to put this in the fridge to prove it's coconut oil because I was like, why do they all look the same but they're different? But yeah, I'm not going to show you my whole process because it's for my business, so it's basically like a recipe. But yeah, let's just do this for the record. Um, this will be the first hair product, this is the, be the first hair product natural hair I'll be releasing. If you guys don't know natural hair hub i have a hair business a hair page on instagram if you don't follow me please 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 so because i don't have a skill for my products i'm using cups because i converted the grams into cups <laughs> and i'm just feeding but yeah So, while my product is solidifying, I am going to start making dinner. It's now, I think, 19 hours. Yeah, so I have, as I said earlier, my appetite this week has been off. So, I had a lot of vegetables in the fridge because I had some friends over, la I think, last weekend. Yes, last weekend I had friends over. So, you know, when your friends over, we had the whole meal and there were just so many leftover vegetables. And they've just been going bad. I've been literally watching them go bad. So, I want to, like, use up all of them today. So... Growing up, my mom is like making a shepherd's pie. <laughs> uh, sadly, I don't have any cheese for it. So it's going to be like a plain shepherd's pie with no cheese. But that's what we are making tonight. And my potatoes are also overgrown. They've been growing legs, please. So I need to use up my potatoes. So I had to look for something that, you know, would use all the vegetables and use all the potatoes. And I was like, you know what? Shepherd's pie has been a while. And I also just enjoy making it. So, yes, to the kitchen. Let's go make some food. Wow. We'll come back to the hair product later. <laughs>
Yeah, I know it's been a little while, but I gotta let them know. Yeah. If you ever been down, opportunity to grow. So guys this is the product that will be selling this is me trying to put the product in the bottle i thought i was recording when i started but apparently i wasn't so yeah it's actually whipped shea butter this is the first bottle ever packaging yes, and that's the first ever hair product for a natural hair please follow my page um i think this product is going to be out on the market i just need to try it out but for this one it's just pure shea but it's just whipped so the other one is the other one just got concoctions this one is pure but yeah follow my page for more purchase yourself we just starting with one size and then we increase but yeah let's go back to the cooking i it had solidified but now i need to also whip the other one before i go back to cooking but yeah hi guys so my vlog is gonna end here i hope you enjoyed it for like the final review of that product i was working on please check my hair page i'll put it down here i don't know if you enjoyed cooking with me should i do more cooking cooking with me like should i incorporate them into my vlogs please like my video and thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>